Dangin Nira Itarin Zgole Groina Review 3 Congratulations! You have completed a third full unit of lessons in Dangin Nira. If you've come this far, then you've gotten a good handle on the core concepts of the language. As with other reviews, this video will not cover each and every aspect of the language seen so far. If you feel you're not comfortable with a verb tense or grammatical construction, you should probably go back and re-watch the relevant video. Here, we will discuss a special type of verb that has been mentioned several times in passing, the copula. A copula is a verb that does not take a direct or indirect object. Technically, both sides of a copula are subjects, and the purpose of the copula is to equate the two. The most used copula is moi, to be. For example, in the sentence, Signotka muhuk risa, my cousin is a man. You'll notice that risa is not made accusative. Be aware, however, that this does not mean that these subjects are interchangeable. Risa muhuk signotka, a man is my cousin, is a completely different sentence. Copulas are also unique as verbs because they can take adjectives as part of their predicate instead of an adverb, again, because you are equating the subject to that adjective. For example, with the copula if soy, to seem, we have the sentence tamin suma if sok manuin, that woman seems tall. There are a few other copulas in dangin mira, such as idorgoi, to cost, but they all have these two aspects in common. They never take an object, and they can take a predicate adjective. Now that you've finished the first three units, you have one more unit to go. If you feel confident with the material you've learned so far, feel free to move on to the next video.